if you're not following me on Instagram, please do follow because we are uploading many behind the scene pictures and videos there. Hit that subscribe button and bell icon so you never miss an update from Neela Bakore Tutorials. We are starting with a new chapter that is environmental issues. Environmental issues, this chapter uh, deals with all those changes which are sort of uh, being brought in this environment. And the main reason for these changes uh, are human activities. So in this particular chapter, we'll be talking about various types of pollution. Uh, human population is increasing and there is an extra pressure on the natural resources. We are using these natural resources. We are building factories. We are constructing roads and buildings. And in all these activities, we are responsible for releasing certain substances which are changing the nature of these natural resources, that is air, water and uh, soil. And when these changes are uh, deteriorating the property or nature of these natural resources, that is what called the pollution. So the first thing that we want to talk about is pollution. What is this pollution? If you have to define it, pollution basically means any undesirable physical or let us write any undesirable change in the physical chemical or biological characteristic of natural resources. And what are these natural resources? It includes air, water and soil. This is what is meant by pollution. And the agents which bring about this undesirable change are called the pollutants. So what are these pollutants? The agents which bring about the undesirable change in the natural resources. So these are the substances or these are the conditions which impact the environment in a negative manner. So anything which has a negative effect on the environment will be considered as a pollutant. Now we want to understand various types of pollutants. We can classify these pollutants into various categories. First, on the basis of the form in which they are released. On the basis of form. We classify the pollutants on this basis as primary pollutants and secondary pollutants. What are primary pollutants? They are released in the same form in which 
they act as pollutants. So here we can take the example of a substance which is a pollutant in the same form in which it is released. Say if we are talking about uh, DDT. DDT is released as DDT and it acts as pollutant as DDT. Secondary pollutants are those which are not released in the form in which they act as pollutants. They are released in some other form. There are some other uh, chemicals which may or may not be pollutants, but their reactions result in formation of a compound or a substance which is acting as a pollutant. So that means they are not released in the same form. They are not released in the same form in which they act as pollutants. Those will be called the secondary pollutants and primary as it is. Now, if we have to take the example of secondary pollutant, uh, one example that we have heard of is acid rain. When it rains and with the rain which we call the acid rain, it has sulfuric acid, it has nitric acid. Sulfuric acid is not released in the atmosphere as sulfuric acid. So, sulfur oxides are released. These sulfur oxides react with water to form sulfuric acid and this sulfuric acid acts as a pollutant. So sulfur oxide is a pollutant, reacts with water which is not a pollutant to form one more substance which is a pollutant. So here we can take the example of sulfuric acid, nitric acid, smog smoke and fog combined. So smoke is released separately, a fog is naturally formed. When these two combine, we get smog. And one more, which is called PAN, peroxyacyl nitrate. So these substances are not released in the same form they are produced as a result of some reactions. And as I said, the reactions can be between the, the primary pollutants or it can be between primary pollutants and non-pollutant substances. So this is one way of classifying pollutants. The second method in which we can classify pollutant is, how is this substance acting as a pollutant? Is it the quantity of that substance which is uh, having a negative impact or is it the quality of that substance? So here we will classify this as quantitative or qualitative. Is it the quality of that substance which is uh, making it a pollutant or is it the quantity of that substance which is making it pollutant? After we take the examples, uh, this thing will be easier for us to understand. Quantity. The first, carbon dioxide, which is in our atmosphere, is not a pollutant. But if the percentage of carbon dioxide increases in the atmosphere, then that higher percentage of carbon dioxide is going to be a pollutant. That means its quantity matters. So here the example is, higher concentration of carbon dioxide. Normal percentage of carbon dioxide which is there in, a, uh, in our atmosphere is very essential. It is required for photosynthesis. So it is only the higher percentage. That means if quantity of carbon dioxide increases, then, then only it will be considered as pollutant. Quality, that means even if it is in very, very, very less quantity, the quality of that substance is such that it is anyways going to act like a pollutant. So here we take the example of DDT. 
So even if DDT is present in very sm small quantity, it is still going to be a pollutant. So it is the quality of that substance. So this is another way of classifying pollutant. The third is, can they break down on their own? Are they degradable? So in this way, we can classify them as biodegradable and non-biodegradable. This is third method or third way of classifying these pollutants. In biodegradable, we will uh, put the example of sewage that is human excreta. If it is added in a natural resource, it's a biodegradable uh, substance. So bacteria are going to act upon it and will degrade it. Non-biodegradable, that means when it is added in the atmosphere, there is nothing which can degrade it. Or even if it undergoes degradation, it is going to take a very long period of time. Again, we will take the example of DDT, which is a pesticide. So these are the three ways in which we classify the pollutants. And we will be studying pollution on the basis of the natural resource which is getting polluted. That is air pollution, water pollution and soil pollution. Two important dates or year. Now to protect this uh, natural resource of ours or the environment, the government of India introduced Environment Protection Act in the year 19. 86 and the basic idea of this was to keep or to maintain a proper quality of the environment improve if there is some kind of degradation which is taking place so it is to maintain and improve the quality of the environment and world environment day is observed on June 5th. So these two are very important. The date on which World Environment Day is observed and when was this Environment Protection Act implemented. So this is just to have a basic idea of how we are going to classify the pollutants. Now next in the next video we will talk about the natural resource and its pollutants. So we will start with air pollution.